Uh, small intestine and uh, the associated structures like transverse colon and ascending colon. This is the ascending colon, transverse colon. The pink shade is uh, the ile uh, the jejunum and the purple shade is ileum. So these white bands are called the tinea coli. And posteriorly, if we see the artery coming here is the superior mesenteric artery. The superior mesenteric artery is dividing into multiple branches. Uh, these uh, on the on on my left side. This is my left side. So, if posteriorly we see, this is left side. These are the ileal branches and uh, the jejunal branches of the superior mesenteric artery. Ileal branches and jejunal branches of the superior mesenteric artery, and these are known as the colic, colic branches, and the jejunal branches, colic branches and the jejunal branches of the ileocecal artery. These are the ileocecal arteries. These round ones. These are the ileocecal arteries and uh, it, it is dividing into branches the first one up, uh, above this is the uh, the colic branches of the ileocecal arteries and this is the jejunal branches of the ileocecal arteries now you can see multiple branches protruding out of these ileocecal and ileocolic the these are known as the posterior cecal arteries posterior cecal and anteriorly these are the anterior cecal arteries anterior cecal and posterior cecal Again, we will see that this is superior mesenteric, the jejunal on the left side, these are jejunal and ileal branches and on the right side, these are the ileocecal and ileocolic and ileocecal branches of the superior mesenteric artery. From these ileocecal and ileocolic and ileocecal, the multiple branches are protruding out, these small. These are the posterior cecal on the posterior side and on anterior side, these are the anterior cecal branches. The wide bands uh, you can see on these uh, in, uh, transverse column and the ascending column, these are called the tinea coli. You can also see them posteriorly, these are the tinea coli. Starting from the transverse column again, on the left side, this is the ascending column. This S shape is the sigmoid column, S shape. This is rectum and this is anal canal and this is anus, opening one. Transverse column, descending column, S-shaped sigmoid column. You uh, here this is rectum, rectum, and this is anal canal. This portion is the anal canal, and this is anus. Now the blood vessels. This is the ileo, uh, iliocolic artery and vein. It is the ascending branch of iliocolic artery and vein. These are the descending. These are the descending branches. Ascending branch and descending branch. From the descending branch, you can see that this artery is continuing as the superior rectal artery. Superior rectal. The superior rectal artery. And uh, we know that this is a branch, inferior mesenteric artery. It is a continuation of the inferior mesenteric artery. So here, uh, you can also notice the small columns in the anal canal. These are the longitudinal anal columns. And you can appreciate the blood, uh, the veins inside it. Uh, actually, in cadaveric sections, when we see that this appear, this portion will appear blue because of the abundance of the veins. So these veins are showing here. These are present in the anal column. So this is anal canal. Uh, and one thing is this is tinea coli again. These white bands are tinea coli. And uh, demarcation from the sigmoid column and the demarcation between sigmoid column and the rectum is that the tinea coli will get absent here. You can uh, notice that this is getting fade here when it is reaching the rectum. We know that the this uh, when this uh, tinea coli approaches the rectum and uh, it the tinea coli when it approaches the rectum it is actually forming the longitudinal muscle layer of the rectum longitudinal it will continue as a longitudinal muscular coat of the rectum so this is this this is disappearing here 